Northwest Ohio is blessed with one of the finest symphony orchestras in the country. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra, under the direction of maestro Yuval Zaliuk, has tripled its audiences during the past four years. For each performance, Maestro Zaliuk uses the talent and technique of his impressive orchestra to create art and inspiration within the listener. One of the staples of the nation's most progressive cities is an aggressive arts program anchored by a flourishing symphony orchestra. New York has its Philharmonic, Philadelphia has its symphony, and Boston has its pops organizations which have added to the quality of life in each of these cities. The resurgence of the city of Toledo is best symbolized by the revitalization of the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, which has undergone a change in direction and philosophy under maestro and music director Yuval Zaliu. Coming to Toledo four years ago was the beginning of the fulfilling of a special goal. More than a year of painstaking search has brought us a young man of great talent whom we are certain is going to bring the Toledo Symphony to new heights of eloquence and music performance for our community. Live from Toledo's Masonic Auditorium, welcome to this season's premier concert by the Toledo Symphony Orchestra under the baton of its music director and conductor, Maestro Yuval Zalio. This is Phil Williams, and it's my pleasure to introduce you tonight to the first concert of a new season by the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, in which the orchestra is led by its conductor, Yuval Zaliuk. Leading the Toledo Symphony Orchestra for the first time in a subscription concert as music director and conductor, Yuval Zaliuk is a musician of international experience and reputation. Educated at the Haifa Academy of Music, Mr. Zaliuk won the scholarship to the Guildhall School of Music in London in 1965 and was appointed assistant conductor of the Royal Ballet at Covent Garden in 1966 and became permanent conductor the following year, holding that post till 1970. Since that time, he has regularly guest conducted in this country and abroad and has recorded with the English Chamber Orchestra for EMI Records. And here is our conductor, Yuval Zaliuk, who in just a moment will begin tonight's concert with the overture to the opera The Force of Destiny by Giuseppe Verdi. I dreamt all my life to become a conductor. There was no question in my mind since, since I can remember, probably around the age of 11 or 12. That's and, amazing. And uh, of course, I come from a very musical family. The fact that my father is a lawyer uh, <coughs> is almost immaterial because he's a very good violinist and always was. And uh, my mother is a pianist, so I grew up with music right mm -hmm. from, from the beginning. Being trained as a lawyer only increased uh, my understanding of music. It, it, was not, it, it was something that really helped me. If I open a, a score, it's like opening a legal book. Uh, you, you immediately can see what is the essence, where is, where is the scheme, why it is there, what is the source. And, and from, from that point of view, it's a very similar profession. And I apply it when I negotiate with, with orchestras. <laughs> I think the main thing about Yuval is that He's got tremendous enthusiasm for everything he does. So when he's at home, he's full of life and energy and ideas, and there's never a dull moment. And as far as work is concerned, he projects that enthusiasm on everybody he meets. So you, everybody gets caught up in it. And I think that's one of his most charming and exciting sides. He's also a very sensitive person. and seems to understand other people's problems. 
often without their ever having said anything. I know that when he's away, when he's abroad, it seems very empty because he does fill up the house so much with his personality. I'm a very easy person to, to please or to entertain. Uh, personally, I like cooking very much. It's very unfortunate because, it, you know, eating doesn't go to the right part of your body. I wish it went to the brain. I think the thing that gives me pleasure the most is company. And uh, I like friendships and um, I'm a very social animal and I enjoy it very much. Yuval Zaliuk has influenced this orchestra through bold and aggressive programming, which brought the orchestra the prestigious ASCAP Award for Progressive Programming in 1984. You see, people always want to hear the great classics. I mean, it's obvious. When you, want to, when you go to the Toledo Museum, the first room you run to is not the modern paintings, but the Renoirs and the Degas and, uh, and so on. Um, People tend to forget that at the time that those famous classic people worked, they were modern. It's the same with, with music. Beethoven today is considered the great classic, but in his time, I mean, if you just take and read some of the critics at the time of Beethoven, you will not believe that. And that's the point. The point is that people do not perceive modern composers as classics. My program philosophy contains one thing which I think is imperative. And this is that every program should contain one, at least, unknown piece or lesser known mm -hmm. piece. When I say an unknown piece, I don't mean uh, necessarily a 20th century piece. I mean any mm -hmm. unknown piece. It can be one of Haydn's 104th uh, four symphonies, mm -hmm. so it's not necessarily a 20th century. But I believe that the orchestra must persist in introducing new and unknown pieces to the audience. Now, in addition to that, the, my second rule is to try and introduce as much as possible uh, American music. After all, we are an American orchestra. And introduce American artists, uh, because by this we serve the country in which we are. I did it in all my previous engagements as music director uh, to boost as much as possible the local uh, and I mean local in, 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 in a small sense and in a bigger sense. The communicative power of music is something beyond your imagination. And it doesn't matter whether you understand it or not. If you look at a beautiful view, you don't have to be a geologist to know what the mountain is made of. The view itself is the beauty and it's the same with music don't say i don't understand music listen and enjoy it you don't have to understand it as music director zaliuk has actively exposed the orchestra to as many residents of northwest ohio as possible especially important is the series of young people's concerts which expose thousands of elementary school students to the classics for the first time if i survive this we're going to have quite a nice program today. Uh, there is um, a substitute conductor waiting there, just in case. Uh, later on, I'm going to release him to the audience. <laughs> the subject of today's program is animals, and that's exactly what we're going to play for you, all kind of animals. Tree, 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 tree. Isn't it wonderful to hear neighborhood songs with this beautiful orchestra? Mr. Zaliuk and John Costa, and thank you for the beautiful music you're making. Mr. Zaliuk uh, urges the children, for instance, to come up and sit with the orchestra, and he'll go down into the audience and uh, talk to people. His narration is always uh, not only educational, but very witty. I noticed immediately upon my arrival uh, in the zoo concert and the Toledo Fest, which I conducted myself, that there are thousands of people that come to listen to these concerts. 
but for some reason they don't come to the symphony concert. And I immediately thought to myself, at least out of 10,000 Toledo Fest listeners, we would find 2,000 who would pay $3 to come to a concert and enjoy themselves. What I want to do is to increase our circle of listeners as much as possible. I want to see people knocking on the doors and dying to get in.